guys welcome back to my book reviews my name is Michelle and I only do five star book reviews so if I am reviewing a book it is because the story is worthy of five stars you are looking at the cover right here we are talking about the glass ocean I spent the weekend reading this book and it is amazing it is worth all the hype it is worth all the excitement that I've had since finding out that these three authors have collabed again I was so excited. So anyway, let's just dive into it. This story takes place two timelines, okay? Kind of current day, 2013 it begins, um, and then back in the day of the sinking of the Lusitania, which was in 1915. The ship sank in May, May 7th, 1915, and um, so we've got two timelines, three points of view, one from Sarah, who is the current day and then two of them which is Caroline and Tess okay so we've got all kinds of things going on but this story is seamless okay I loved every word every word so let's begin because I try to do these in under five minutes and um, this one's gonna be difficult but anyway let's just thank these three authors for collabing again and I pray they are doing another one they did one back in 2016 and um, for all of you guys who read it, The Forgotten Room, and now, so it's 2018, so I'm hoping that, you know, who knows, maybe in two more years we get another one, but they are just perfect together. I love them so much. I love them separately, and then together, they're just that much better. So anyway, let us begin. The Glass Ocean, the title, perfect, okay? So, of course, most of the story takes place in the ocean, I don't want to say too much about it. I don't like to give away, but The Glass Ocean is a perfect title. And then let's go right to the cover. You guys are looking at this cover. It is absolutely beautiful. And when I saw the cover reveal, I was like, oh God, it is so beautiful. I loved it. So title and cover, got those done. First line, kind of long, but it starts in current day, so which is like 2013. We're talking from the point of view of Sarah. And it says, the evening had turned blue and soft the way New York does in May, and I decided to walk to the book club and save the bus fare. So we have Sarah, who is obviously an author, and she's going to meet a group of women in a book club. And it kind of like that first line, when I went back and read it again, what I loved about it was that she says, they say, save the bus fare. So we're understanding right there that she isn't wealthy. And even though I think she's a fairly popular author because she has a book club reading her book, um, we're getting the gist right there that uh, this first chapter that she is not a wealthy author and she is a struggling author even though she's like well known and it's kind of you know it kind of hit me hard when I read that first chapter because I don't think that all of us just understand the world of a writer so guys I love that first chapter and it really gave a lot of perspective on your life <laughs> as an author and dealing with book clubs and I don't know it was a great way to start this book off and then the end of the first chapter the last line of the first chapter it's actually two lines. No more betrayals. Meet me, be deck, prom, starboard, side. So now we're going into the part of the book that takes place on the Lusitania. So they kind of take us from current day, this struggling author, and then it right away goes into the story. And um, it's an amazing chapter. And it got me all excited, which is what that line is supposed to do. The ending of the first chapter is supposed to get me excited so that I want to read chapter two. Not that I didn't think that they were going to do that. Of course, I thought they would. But it is perfect. The ending is beautiful. I loved it. And it's 416 pages. It's not a short read, okay? It took me a while. But it's one of those books that you can just, like, sink into. And the history... And I, because I knew nothing about the Lusitania, nothing, and I'm saying it better, so I'm really happy about that, but I knew nothing about it, and I ended up watching a documentary last night because I wanted to know more, and that's what historical fiction books do. They introduce you to a world that you might not know that much about, and then you're like, I want to know more, and then watching the documentary, 
after just reading the book, it made me love them even more because I could see how much more detail they put in it and how much more brilliant they were <laughs> in doing so because they made it a beautiful story. And um, guys, I mean, I had an interview with Karen White back in May, I think, and she had told me about this book then and told me that it was coming out. So I got really excited then, but I love all of them and they're all so sweet. They're incredibly sweet. Um, you have to check this book out. I'm gonna have the Amazon link listed below because you can buy it today. You can buy it today. Isn't that it's so exciting? So everyone, thank you for watching and thank you for making it possible that I could read this book this weekend. Um, whoever made that decision, thank you. Thank you so much. It made my weekend. So um, anyway, thank you everyone for watching. If you like this book review, please hit like and until tomorrow, guys.